I'm Rick Stevens, and I'm Associate Lab Director at Argonne for a Computing Environment and Life Sciences, and I'm also a Professor of Computer Science at the University of Chicago. Well, Argonne is one of the multi-program labs supported by the DOE Office of Science. So we have many projects at Argonne that are using AI. Cancer is one. We're using AI in drug development. We have a very large team that's been working for the last six months or so uh, developing drugs for COVID and we're using AI to automate multiple parts of the drug development pipeline. We're using it in cosmology to look for evidence of dark matter. We're using it in uh, areas of, of trying to do environmental sensing. So it's being used in, in many, many areas. It's uh, one of the technologies that's most likely to impact, to cause broad impact in science over the next 10 years. And a big challenge for us is the time it takes to build and train models. We already have a very established environment that uses lots of GPUs. We have our large machines, um, we have our supercomputers. So we're interested in technology that goes beyond that, uh, that can uh, train models faster than individual GPUs, that has more scalability um, and has uh, more performance. And so the uh, Salmonova data scale system met that criteria. When the data scale system first shipped, um, uh, we were able to bring it up very quickly. After the machine came up, it was less than 45 minutes before we were able to run one of those models that we had been working on with them. So, uh, Salmonova recognized the need for acceleration both on, on small-scale models, but also on large-scale models. They also have a natural system for scalability, and I think that's the other thing that we're quite interested in. I mean, we, we ultimately imagine having AI-oriented supercomputers that will have uh, thousands and thousands of nodes um, uh, that are accelerated. Well, it's still pretty early, but we're getting kind of orders of magnitude improvement over GPU performance. And we imagine that that'll continue to improve as we work with the Salmonova team to refine the models and, and get updated versions of software. Based on the architecture, uh, we know there's more headroom there. And so we're, we're very excited to go after that headroom.